Hey everybody, it's Lon Sybin, and a lot of people have been having trouble getting their Wi-Fi to work throughout their home, and there are a bunch of new products that try to simplify that process for consumers, and I've got a new one of those types of products right here on the desk today. This is called the Amplify, and it's from a company called Ubiquity Networks. Now, if you've not heard of these folks before, it's probably no surprise because they only recently got into the consumer networking market, uh, but they have been very prevalent in the business side of the world, and I use their products all the time at my day job as well as here at home, but their enterprise products have been a little more challenging for consumers to configure than what most people are used to. So they have launched a consumer line and this is one of their first products. And what you get here is a router module as well as two wireless extenders that you just plug into an outlet uh, somewhere in your home. And you can uh, cover a 20,000 square foot area with a wall-to-wall -wall Wi-Fi. And it does work very well and it's probably the simplest router I have uh, used in quite some time. So we're going to step through how all of this works here in just a second. But I do want to mention in the interest of full disclosure, this came in free of charge from Ubiquity Networks. However, nobody is paying for this review. All the opinions you're about to hear are my own and no one is reviewing this content before it is posted. I don't know if they want this back or not. If they don't want it back, we'll be adding it to our giveaway queue. So definitely subscribe to my email list at lon.tv slash email to be notified as to when that will happen. All right, so let's get into the hardware now. There's actually a couple different versions of this available. This is their HD version that costs $340. $9.99. Uh, this is their fastest model that they have. It's 3x3 three three AC wireless. You get a router module here as well as two wireless extenders. They also have a long range version which provides you with the same range but less bandwidth. So it's a little slower. So I think if you're doing a lot of movie streaming and a lot of other things with a bunch of people on your network really hammering everything all the time, uh, you probably want to go for the HD version for $50. It's not that uh, much of a uh, buy up to get uh, the kind of speed that a family might want throughout the home. Uh, you can also buy the router by itself for $150. And in a small home, uh, the router is probably all you need. But in a larger space, obviously, if you're having Wi-Fi trouble, uh, you certainly want to uh, probably go for the gusto here and get the, uh, the full range extension kit. Now, there is a touch panel here on the front, which gives you an idea as to uh, what you've got going on in the network currently. So this is the real-time speed as to exactly what people on your network are currently consuming. You get a time and date on here as well. And then they also give you a total of your uh, use usage over a period of time so you can make sure that you're not exceeding your bandwidth caps if you have that uh, with your particular internet provider. Uh, on the back here is just a couple of ethernet ports. It's nice to see this though on a smaller device like this one. So you've got four gigabit ethernet ports. You have your inbound WAN port here for connecting to your cable modem or DSL modem. Uh, and then of course it's powered over here. It runs off of USB voltage so it doesn't use all that much power at least on the base station. Uh, the USB port here they say is going to be used in the future but they haven't indicated what that use might be. So that is the uh, router component. Uh, the, there is a wireless radio, by the way, built into the router. Now the extensions are, are pretty simple, actually. They have this uh, interesting magnetic ball thing on here that you can use to uh, get it positioned properly. So you can remove it here and just kind of get it positioned exactly as to how your wall outlet might be configured. And you just plug it in and leave it. And what it will do uh, is first look for the base station. So the ideal configuration is you put the base station somewhere in the middle of your home and then put these things out on the corners so that they can all communicate back to the base station. But if you have a home where you can't do that realistically, uh, these two will actually talk to each other. It's really smart how it does this, and you don't have to do it yourself, it just does it. Uh, so what'll happen is, is that if we had a configuration, for example, where this was somewhere in the far reaches of the home, uh, this was on one end and this one was in the middle, uh, this one would actually relay all of its traffic through here, and then it would go back to the base station. You do lose speed and uh, responsiveness in that process. Process. So they do recommend uh, having the base station in the middle here so that these things can backhaul uh, directly to it versus through each other. And they do help you get everything configured when you're setting it up by having some signal strength indicators on the extender. So you can see how uh, good its connection is to the other one or back to the uh, central router here just by looking at the lights on this. So they have made this attractive so that you might uh, want to put this somewhere centrally located in your home just to improve performance. And then you can uh, tweak the location of everything to get uh, the best possible signal back to the base there. All right, so let's take a look at the configuration software. This runs on your phone, and again, the nice thing is is that uh, when you first get it set 
up. There's nothing to really do to your phone. It just connects via Bluetooth and gets up and running that way. I did have to do a, a firmware update initially, but after that, it was a very, very smooth sailing. So you can see here that we have one of the extenders plugged in and the signal going back to the uh, router here is great. You can tap on the extender and get uh, more information as to exactly how it is currently operating. Uh, everything runs with just a single uh, wireless identification and your devices will be assigned to the proper radio channel to get everything working. So it works with uh, older devices that only work on the older 2 gigahertz spectrum, but it also works on the 5 gigahertz spectrum. And I found it was very good about placing my newer devices on the faster signal, which doesn't always happen with uh, some of these consumer routers. So I was very pleased with how all that works. Uh, you get a little bit more of a uh, in-depth look at your overall throughput and performance here. You can also configure your guest network, uh, limit the number of users and how much time that they have available. You can also share with them a text message so they can get themselves uh, set up quickly on there. Uh, you can also uh, lock individual devices off the uh, internet or uh, kill them all if you wish. There's a kill switch here to pause the internet on all devices if you really are uh, concerned about something going on. And you also have some uh, self-checks here on uh, everything that's taking place on your network. And you're also able to monitor which users are connected to what. So if you're trying to troubleshoot why somebody's signal is bad, uh, you can go in and find them on that list under the controls menu here and see exactly how they're connected. So if I go into the details here, uh, you can see that I am uh, connected currently to the router directly. I've got a very good signal strength and it's also uh, able to indicate the kind of bandwidth that I'll be able to pass through uh, on my phone here. So a lot of nice detail here for techies, uh, but it really isn't something that most people have to get into to get this to work. Again, plug it in uh, and you are up and running. Now I did do a speed test earlier where I took my uh, MacBook, which has a two by two wireless AC radio built in and put it right here on the desk and had it transmit data back and forth to the router. And you can see the kind of speeds that I was getting here. So about 475, 460 megabits per second or uh, thereabouts on that test, which is a little slower than I've seen on some consumer AC routers as well as Unify's own routers that I have uh, installed in the house as well. But I think the speed difference here is not something uh, most consumers would really notice. So I think from the standpoint of performance, it performs uh, just fine and will uh, give you the kind of bandwidth you need for Netflix and all the other stuff that people are streaming wirelessly in the home. The other thing I did is I took one of these extenders and I hooked it up on the far end of my home, all the way out on the uh, end bedroom, the place where I can never get wireless if the wireless is down here in the basement. And it worked. I was able to get uh, this to connect back to the base station and then have my computer connect directly to this. Uh, there was a speed hit, of course, because the farther you get away from the router, uh, the, the less bandwidth you can uh, push over the air. So it was about 100 megabits per second or so, which isn't bad, though. And uh, what's really good is that my phone and my uh, computer had a very strong signal back to the extender. So as long as the extender's got a good signal, it's not going to change because it's in the same spot and not moving yet. Uh, your devices can get uh, the wireless uh, connectivity assurances that you didn't have before because they're connecting to this extender, which covers a good portion of that uh, upstairs area where I set it up. Now, because this is a consumer product manufactured by an enterprise company, they've taken a lot of the advanced configuration off the table here. So if you want a lot of granular control over your network, buy one of their other products, which are actually pretty affordable. Uh, they've really made this one plug and play, which actually made it very easy to review because I really just plugged everything in and it started working. Now you do have uh, some degree of control over the wireless. So you can uh, turn off the band steering. So if you want to uh, separate the Wi-Fi SSID into a 5 gigahertz and 2.4 gigahertz band, uh, you can do that. Uh, there is some degree of uh, channel control here too, but again, really limited in uh, some of the detail that they provide on here. There is the way though to uh, forward ports if you wish to do that. So if you have some servers running on your uh, network here, you can do basic port forwarding, uh, but there isn't all that much more to configure on it. Very simple uh, overall product design here. And I think they have made this something that uh, any consumer can take and plug in, which is what my experience was on it. So that is the Amplify from Ubiquity Networks. I am quite pleased with this actually. It was a very simple process to get this up and running. Uh, plug and play from the phone, plug and play to the extenders. Everything is already prepared. Just plug it in and you're done and your Wi-Fi problems are solved. Uh, just be sure to keep an eye on this indicator here when you're first uh, deciding where to place these extenders to get the best possible signal because that will improve overall speed. And uh, once you're done, you are done. Everything very seamlessly roams between the access points. Uh, overall, I couldn't be happier with this, and I think it's something that will definitely solve a problem for a lot of consumers. This is Lon Seibin. Thanks for watching. This channel is brought to you by my Patreon supporters, including Gold Level supporter Eric. 
If you want to help the channel, you can by contributing as little as a dollar a month. Head over to lon.tv slash Patreon to learn more. And don't forget to subscribe. Visit lon.tv slash s.